Hi guys, I'm Lucy and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a review for you all and I will be reviewing Simon vs the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli. I am holding up the beautiful personalised proof that Penguin very kindly sent to me. This book came out on the 4th of April so it's out in the shops now, you've probably seen it about. And today I'm going to talk through a non-spoiler discussion with you all about how incredible this book was. This book is about a boy called Simon. Simon is 16 years old, he is in high school, he has a great group of friends, he's got a really great family, he's really really kind of close with his family and that was one of the real highlights of the book. I think his family are just incredible, they have such a great dynamic and his friends also have a great dynamic with him too. However, Simon is gay and he hasn't come out to anyone yet except from this mysterious boy that he is emailing called Blue. Blue apparently goes to Simon's school and part of the whole beauty of this book is trying to figure out who Blue is because we know he's going to be kind of in the cast of characters that come into this novel and Becky Alvatali leaves lots of little clever hints and by the time you get to the end of this novel and figure out who Blue is I just didn't expect it, I didn't see it coming and I love that about this book. So when Simon is emailing Blue, he emails him like every single day, they get along really really great and they just have this really kind of cute flirty banter going on over email. Simon accidentally leaves one of his emails open on a school computer and in swoops Martin. So Martin reads these emails and goes up to Simon and basically confronts him and says, listen I know you're gay, it's not a big deal but in exchange for me not showing anyone the emails, I would like you to hook me up with your cute friend who he really, really is attracted to, Abby. And from then on starts this kind of real strange situation where Simon is trying to hook Abby up with Martin. However, Abby doesn't really like Martin and so Simon has to kind of go against his instincts as a friend, trying to look out for his friend Abby, whilst trying to protect his identity, I guess, and trying to protect his secret. And this book essentially is about Simon coming out as gay, but it's done in a way that's really kind of clever and Simon realises that it's not a big deal and when it does happen, it's kind of this moment where you know, there's highs and lows of each situation and seriously, this book was so beautiful. It is kind of one of these YA contemporaries where nothing dramatic actually happens in terms of the plot, but it's the writing and the characters that drive you forward. And Simon as a character, like I would read this book and just find myself laughing out loud. And I really love that about this book, how it manages to kind of turn everyday situations into kind of really, really well thought out, funny situations. and. I absolutely adored this novel. I think if you've never looked at this novel or seen it before or heard about it, I really would recommend picking it up guys. This took me hardly any time to race through but I did race through it. It was a really strange thing because though the plot doesn't drive you onward, the kind of characters and the voice do and it's the emotion and the love story in this is really really cute and heartwarming and man the friendships were awesome too and i just really really loved this novel it was hilarious and i really think that if this sounds like something you'd be into if you like contemporaries definitely pick this up because it is really kind of a special book and I think if you've never read any kind of LGBT romance or anything like that this is a great place to start because it's just brilliant and the characters leap off the page and Simon as a character is so beautiful I want him to be my best friend and yeah I absolutely adored this novel you can probably tell this book is out already so you can literally buy it here and now I will leave all links in the description bar please do tell me down in the comments if you've read this novel before or if you want to read this novel because for those of you who have read this I'd also be interested in knowing how early you kind of discovered who Blue was because it literally took me until that page when I was like, oh, it makes sense now. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time in a new video. Bye!